Now Home Assistant has provided this feature with which you can set timers using the Voice Assistant. Now if you have already seen my short video which is linked here right now, you know that you can set your timers using a Voice Assistant and also turn it off. So today we will be looking at how we can implement this timer feature as well as control it and turn it off using the voice command. So with this, let's get started. Now, if you're starting a voice assistant journey for the first time and you want to see how you can create a voice assistant using an ESP32 S3, then I have linked a video here wherein I've shown you the entire setup. Now, I'll be making use of this voice assistant that I created using the ESP32 S3. I showed you also how I created this. There's a link here wherein you can see how I created this voice assistant. Now, we will be making use of the same voice assistant and we will update the code to now support this timer functionality. So for this, let's go to our YAML configuration. So I have this ESP32 device. So this is my voice assistant with the ESP32 S3 with the wake word detection inside it. So I'm going to edit this and let me show you the configuration that I've done here. So first of all, what I've done here is I have implemented this on timer finished handler for this voice assistant section. Inside this, what I'm doing here is that I'm first of all turning off the micro wake word as well as the voice assistant. Then I'm waiting here for the microphone to stop capturing. And also what I'm doing here is I have this template switch called as timer ringing. Now I'll show you this template switch above. So right now I'm just turning it on. I'll tell you why. And now here I'm waiting for the micro wake word to make sure it's not running. Now next what I'm doing is that I'm turning on the LED to indicate that okay the timer has finished and then I'm playing this media file. So for this media file we have to add this external component here and then I have used one of the timer finished wave files from ESP home firmware itself. So I have linked the same file here and I'm using this custom component and then finally I'm calling the voice assistant speaker to use this wave file and play it onto this voice assistant speaker that I have inside my voice assistant. Now next after this I am starting the wake word and then after this I have this while condition wherein until this timer template switch is turned off it will keep on playing this file that means it will keep on ringing until I take some kind of an action and that action is that I have to turn off this timer underscore ringing switch okay so let me show you what this timer underscore ringing switch is so I have this template switch which is the timer ringing and this is the switch with which we will use to control our timers so the idea here is that we will use this template switch such that when the timer gets triggered that's the time this button will turn on and then we have to turn off this button such that the wave file that is being played stops playing. So now what we have to do is we have done this right. So to turn off this switch we have two ways. One is I can use this mute button which is here on the device or the other way is that I do it via the voice assistant. Now to control this timer ringing button using a mute button, I have this physical switch here that is connected using the GPIO and here what I have done is on press I am checking for the condition if the timer ringing is on. That means if the timer has finished right now, this timer switch will turn on and that means when I press now the mute button, it will then turn off this timer ringing switch which internally what will happen is that this while loop will stop because now the condition is false that is a timer underscore ringing is false and then the timer finish handler finishes. Now this is how you can do it via the mute button. So let's go ahead and try and see how this thing works with the mute switch. Hey Jarvis, set a timer for 5 seconds. Okay so now the timer has started, let's see now. So now I'm going ahead and pressing this mute button and the timer stopped actually. So the timer has finished and the sound that it was playing when the timer finished has now stopped. Now let's go ahead and see how we can actually turn off the timer using a voice assistant. Now for this we have to make sure that we are making use of this timer ringing switch. So for this what I've done here is 
let's go to settings and go to automations and scenes and then here i have this timer automation now let's see what i've done here so what i have said here i have added an automation that when there's a sentence of saying something called a stop then you go ahead and you turn off this timer ringing switch so this turn off esp32 s3 wake word timer ringing switch is something that i've added here so now let's go ahead and see how this thing works hey jarvis set a timer for five seconds okay so the timer has now started let's wait for it to start ringing okay so it is ringing right now hey jarvis stop so we just saw how we can actually turn off the timer using the voice assistant now this entire yaml code that we just saw here i will provide you this yaml code into the article that i will link into the description below such that you can use that yaml code now this is possible on an ESP32 S3 right now because it has two I2S buses wherein you can have the microphone running along with the speaker also. I haven't tried it out yet with an ESP32. Once I do, I will make a video about it. Now we just saw how we implemented this timer feature for your voice assistant. Now I keep on making things smart at home so make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come. Now if you want to support this channel there are links into the description below wherein you can buy me a coffee or you can support me via Patreon. Till then take care and I will see you in my next one.